Oh, everything is moving by the power of God. Everything is moving by the power of God. Everything is moving by the Everything, everything is moving by the Oh, everything is moving by the Everything is moving by the Oh, everything is moving by the Everything is moving Oh, I can clap my hands by the I can clap my hand by the power. I can clap my hand in spite of power. Everything. Oh, I can wave my hand by the. Oh, I can wave my hand in spite of power. I can wave my hand in spite of everything. Is moving by the oh, say everything is moving by the power. Everything is moving by the everything is moving by the power. Everything is moving. Oh, it's moving by the power. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Everything is moving. Everything is moving. Everything is moving. By the power. I can't clap my hands. I can't do my dance. I can't stomp my feet. I can't lift my voice. Oh, everything is moving. Everything is moving. Everything is moving. By moving by the power, oh, singing. Everything is moving by the. Everything is moving by the power. Oh, everything is moving. Everything is moving by the power. Everything is moving. Everything is moving by the. Everything is moving. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Everything is moving. Everything is moving. My healing, my deliverance, my breakthrough by the power, by the power, my prayer answered by the power. Everything is moving. Joy, you can get your peace, understanding. It's moving by the power. Everything is moving by the power. Everything is moving by the power. By the power. By the power. Oh, singing, everything is moving by the. Everything is moving by the. Oh, everything is moving by the. Everything is moving. Oh, yeah. Come on, everybody, clap your hand by the power. Come on, somebody say, everything is moving. But it's moving by the power of God. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Everything is moving by the power. I can get my deliverance. You can get your healing. Your understanding. Your breakthrough, yeah. Everything is moving by the power. Everything is moving by the power. Oh, by the power. By the power. Come on to clap your hand and say. Come on to clap your hand and say. Everything is moving by the power. Everything is moving by the power.
Oh, see, everything is moving by the Everything is moving by the power. Everything is moving by the power. Everything. Now one more time, everybody clap your hand and praise him. Oh, it's moving by the power. It's moving. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Move in this place, Lord. Move in this place. Set your fire in this place. Move by your spirit in this place. We can't do nothing until you send your power down. We can't do nothing until you send your power down. Everything is moving. Lord, we need your power. Everything is moving. Lord, we need your power. Lord, we need your power. Everything is moving by the power. Everything is moving by the power. Everything is moving by the power. Oh, oh, everything is moving by the power. Oh, everything is moving by the power. Everything is moving. Everything is by the power. Come on. Come on, somebody open up your mouth and bless him this morning. Open up your mouth and tell the Lord, thank you for your power. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you for your power. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for protecting me. Everything is moving. Somebody say it's moving by the power. I can get my healing. Come on, anybody believe you can get your deliverance in this place? Come on, lift your hands and say it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Lift your hands and say it's moving. It's moving. Somebody say everything. It's moving by the power of, of God. Now everybody clap your hand and glorify him this morning. Hallelujah. by your power that we are here this morning. It is by your power that we're in the land of the living. It is by your power that the blood still run warm in our veins. It is by your power that we have this chance to give your name glory, honor, and praise. It is by your power that you have allowed us to come into this house of worship once again. It is by your power that we can sing songs unto you. It's by your power that we can put our hands together and give your, give your name glory, honor, and praise. It's by your power that we can stomp our feet and clap our hands and lift our voice. So Lord, we give your name glory. All the praise that is due unto you. Allow your Shekinah glory to reign in this place. Anointed fall fresh upon us. Each and every household that's represented. Bless God in the mighty way. We give your name glory. We give your name honor. And we give your name praise. The saints of God say amen. 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 We ask that you stand as... The choir sing our opening hymn this morning. Lift them up.
Lift him up till he speaks from eternity. And I be lifted up from the earth. I'm drawn on. Oh, lift him up. Lift him up. Speak from eternity. I wonder who, I wonder who, Pastor will you help me, Deacons will you help me, Trusters will you help me, Members will you help me, Lift them higher, 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 I'll draw on me, oh, oh, oh. I wonder who, I wonder who, I wonder who, I wonder who, members will you help me, because will you help me, I wonder who, I wonder who, anybody want to help me live this, anybody want to help me live this, I wonder who, I wonder who Anybody want to help me lift it? Come on and lift your voice Come on and clap your hand Oh, I wonder who Oh, lift them higher Higher, higher, higher Lift them higher Higher, higher, higher Lift them higher Higher, higher I, oh, I draw me. Come on and clap your hands.
I be lifted up from the earth. That's what he said. Our scripture reading for this morning will come from Romans 12 chapter verses 1 and 2. Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. Amen. And it says these words. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed by this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is what it is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. To God be the glory for all the great things that he has done and will continue to do. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will have our announcements and our flash offering. And then followed by that, the choir will come back and give us two selections. And then we'll hear a word from the Lord. Amen. I'm determined to make God ever my home. Oh, yes, I am. I'm determined to make God ever my home. I've got a made up my I'm determined to make God heaven my home. Listen, y'all, in my life, I've been up and I've been down. Some Times almost, almost level to the ground, but I won't turn around because I'm determined to make God ever my home. I've got a made up mind. I'm determined. Make God heaven my home. Want y'all to listen to me? Amazing grace. Oh, how sweet the sound. But I was lost. 
tem cor a cantar oh, a me chama To make God have in my home I've got a made of mind I'm One more thing, y'all. Too many dangers torn and snares. And oh, your grace has brought me safe this far. And grace will lead me on. That's why I'm determined. I'm determined. God heaven my home Let me say this one more time Too many dangers, dangers, dangers Towards the snare And I've already come Too many dangers, dangers, dangers That's why I'm determined. I'm determined to make God heaven my home. Let me say this one more time. Too many dangers, dangers, dangers. Tons of snares, and I've already come. Oh, yes, I have. And, oh, your grace has brought me safe this far. And grace will lead me on. That's why I'm determined. I'm determined. God, heaven, my home. Determined to make God heaven my Good religion, got good religion. Have you got good religion? 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 Do you love everybody? Do you love everybody? Do you love everybody? Have you been baptized? Have you been baptized? Have you been baptized? Is your name on high? Is your name on high? Is your name on high? Do you love King Jesus? Do you love King Jesus? Do you love King Jesus? I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Is your name on high? Is your name on high? 
Is your name on high? Is your name redeemed? Have your soul been redeemed? Have your soul been redeemed? I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Turn me, Lord. Turn me, Lord. Turn me, Lord. Had you been to the water? Had you been to the water? Had you been to the water? And been baptized. And been baptized. And been baptized. Is your name on the roll? Is your name on the roll? Is your name on the roll? Do you love everybody? Do you love everybody? Do you love everybody? I love you, Jesus. 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 Do you feel all right? Do you feel all right? Do you feel all right? I feel all right. I feel all right. I feel all right. Certainly, Lord. Certainly, Lord. Certainly, Lord. Had you been to the water? Had you been to the water? Had you been to the water? And been baptized, and been baptized, and been baptized. Certainly, Lord. Certainly, Lord. Certainly, Lord. Certainly, certainly, Lord. Have you got good religion? Have you got good religion? Have you got good religion? Do you love everybody? Do you love everybody? Do you love everybody? Have you been to the water? Have you been to the water? Have you been to the water? And been baptized, and been baptized, and been baptized. Certainly, Lord. Certainly, Lord. Certainly, Lord. Certainly, 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 Lord.
Amen. We're few in numbers today. We're quiet. But this is still the day that the Lord has made. And we still rejoice and be glad in it. I'm not going to hold you long today. I know it's the fourth Sunday of the month. But it's still Sunday. And we still have a word from the Lord today. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just come now, Lord, asking for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Lord, speak to me and speak through me. Allow the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. We ask that those that hear, that it will penetrate their hearts and their minds, O oh Lord, that they may see fit to go out and share it with others. This we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. This morning's sermon is coming out of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, starting at verse 10. And the word reads, by the grace of God, by the grace God has given to me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder, and someone else is building on it, but each one should build with care, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, the work will be shown for what it is. Because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. Amen. For a topic for a thought, just for a few minutes. Will your work stand the judgment of God? Paul tells us in this epistle, you know, in this short letter, it's the first one written to the church of Corinth. Paul was responding to a situation that developed in the church since he departed some years earlier. They had developed some internal division among the members, among themselves. Dom was saying, for as, in verse 3, it says, for as among you are envy and strife and division, are you not carnal and walk as men? The church was dividing itself socially as to say, I am of Paul, and others are saying, I am of Apollo. The, to correct this situation, Paul tells the church that he and Apollo were ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He planted, Apollo watered, but it was God that gave the increase. See, we got to take our eye off the prize of people that are standing before us and understand that what you get does not come from man. It is only by the gift of God. God is to receive credit for all things. It was nothing that had been done that was not done by God. We should understand that all things come through the power of God. So, so we, when we see that the power of God is what we need to focus in on, we need to take our eyes off of man and start looking to the hills from which cometh our help. See, it says that there is nothing that we can do or possess that is not provided by the grace of God. John tells us that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. See, you got to know that everything comes from the will of God. But I like the way John put it, says, in the beginning was the word. And as we have learned to study that the word is no, other, no one other than Jesus the Christ. See, when, when we start looking at things that's going on, we look at it from a carnal mind. We need to start looking at it from a spiritual mind. See, see that, that division in the church was not one of, of, of 
social divide, but you know, it, it was more of one where they didn't understand that the Spirit of God was in charge of what was going on. They were using their worldly wisdom and not the spiritual wisdom. We need to start looking at things through the eyesight of Jesus the Christ. Years back, we used to wear this band and this necklace on all the time, or this thing around our neck was WWJD. What would Jesus do? We don't ask that question anymore. We do what we want to do. We don't worry about what Jesus would do about something. So the wisdom that was used was to, not the, was to understand the spiritual things that was lacking in the church. If we look around right now, we can find that we have a spiritual lacking right here at New Bethlehem Baptist Church. We still look at things through the worldly eyes. I was driving around, and, and I, I saw a sign that, that struck my interest. It, it, it tickled my fancy there. You know, It says that God does not social distance. See, if you're staying at home because of what's going on, you need to find out that God does not do social distancing. Regardless of what's happening in the world, God is still right there for you. He says that we should assemble ourselves to come in and to worship him. See, will your work stand the judgment? Part of your work is to show up. Part of your job is to praise God. And so one of the things, where are you going to praise him is in the sanctuary. So the question is, will your work stand the test of time? Will it stand God's judgment? So we need to think about those things. The Bible tells us that the natural man, the worldly man, the non-Christian does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God. See, if you're still carnal-minded, the things that we do, people don't understand because they're trying to look at it from a world standpoint. The natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are not spiritually discerned. Oh, y'all some quiet ones. Y'all gonna, gonna make me work today, huh? I'm going to have to say amen all for myself. That's all right. I, it, don't, it don't matter whether you say amen or not. I'm in one of my moods today. You know, I might get my lean on, and I put my hand on my hip, and I get to preaching, and I might not shut up. Amen. <laughs> hey, I, I got an amen then, didn't I? <laughs> all right. I just want to know if y'all in the house. That's all. Okay. Now, I have been known to get a little wild now. Okay. And this is one of the weeks I, I, I might. Cause it's been a wild week. Okay. <laughs> So that, 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 that is nothing. That, that, okay, let me stop. See, often the church today, we, we find those in charge that want, want to carry out things the way they want to do it. But see, you need to open up your eyes and quit giving lip service to the Lord. The fact that the church does not belong to you, but it belongs to God. And, you know, you, we need to come into the house. We, uh, mm, I'm just going to go forget y'all. See you. We're going to have to learn how to enter into this gates with thanksgiving. We're going to have to learn how to come through that door with a little praise in our heart. We're going to have to learn that, 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 that we were created to give Christ, give God the praise for what he's already done. We, we know that everything was made by him and that he has the cattle upon a thousand hills. We're sitting there as if though we got the problems of the world laying upon our shoulders. You need to take and cast those cares upon the master and let him have them and you go on about your business because you can't do nothing about the problems that you have, but you can give it over to the master and when you give it to God, he can take char charge of it. He can take care of it. He told you, take my yoke. See, if you put your yoke on uh, and put your problems on him, because he said, my burdens are light. You know, he can carry your problems that you can't carry. He knows you got a problem before you start with the problem. And then, you know, he said, I know all things because I am the alpha. I am the omega. See, he was the beginning and he was the end of all things. See, when, when you start worrying about your problems, you, you need to quit worrying about them. When you come into this house, you need to leave those problems out there. And you walk into this house and start praising God like you have no sense. And you see, if you want your problems to get better, you need to leave them at the altar. Leave them outside. Come in here knowing that God is able. We, we talked about that already. He's able to do all things. See, but, 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 but when we bring our problems in, we, 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 we tend to bring not only the problems we, we bring that, uh, that, that spirit uh, in with you, that spirit that calls things to become cold. See, when, when, you, when you start praising God and, 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 and you know that he's able, 
and you lift up holy hands, when you lift up your voice and let them know that, God, I believe that you can do all things. Lord, I got a problem, but Lord, today I'm going to lay that problem down. I'm going to get excited all by myself. I don't care if my neighbor don't like it. I don't care who don't like it. And if they don't understand why I got tears in my eyes, it's all right, you know, because I know you're able to walk, wipe away the tears from my eyes. And you do it all the time. See, you need to just get up and praise God like you just don't have no sin. See, every now and then you just got to throw your head back stick your chest out and say thank you Jesus I thank you Jesus you've been good to me you, you carried me all this way when I was down you lifted me up when I was broke you put money in my pocket when I didn't have anybody to talk to you talked to me you carried me when I was all sick and burdened down when I was laying in the hospital and nobody could see me, you were right there with me. See, when you know that you got a God that is with you, I found out a long time ago that I am never alone. That David had it right when he says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for my God is with me. See, when God is with you and you're going through your valley, you don't have to worry about what's going to happen. See, when I start thinking about David and his valley experience, see, David was walking down on the valley, but there was somebody sitting up high because you brought him into the church with you that was sitting there ready to attack him. See, but because they were ready to get him, he said, I'm not going to fear no evil. Yes, you might be sitting up there ready to come down on me, but I got somebody there with a rod and a staff. In fact, he says, I got grace, I got mercy, and I don't have to wait. He said, goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. You got God with you, taking you through all your trials and tribulations. But you see one thing you sometimes forget. Jesus alone is the man that can forgive the sins that you've done in the past, strengthen you for the present, give you hope for your future. See, my hope is built on nothing less but Jesus Christ and his righteousness. See, yeah, I, I don't care about what y'all think, but you see, I know who I serve. I know who takes care of me. See, what, that's why Paul was saying that some folks building on that foundation. And, and, and when they were building on the foundation, he was talking about them church folks doing stuff that they weren't supposed to do. He was letting them know that you need to go back and talk to Christ about some things. The church is not yours. The place is not yours. But then I'm going to tell you about Jesus the Christ. He came out and told you, go ye therefore and teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. See, you didn't go out and tell somebody, and because you never told anybody, they didn't know that the church doors was open. You need to let them know that this house is up and running. You need to let them know that I'm on the battlefield for the Lord. And as long as I'm going to fight the battle, I'm going to let you know that you can come into this house. You can get your healing in this house. You can praise God in this house. The Shekinah glory shines in this house. See, when you start working the work that you're supposed to do, you don't have to worry about how God going to judge you. Because the word says that when you do the work of the master, everything going to be all right. You will get your crown. But he says if your work don't stand, that it's going to be burnt up. It's going to be tested by fire. He says that if your, your, your work is tested by fire, if it is burned up, you will suffer a loss. But you yourself will not be lost. In other words, when you get there, you won't have no crown. You won't have that crown to throw before the feet of Jesus. You haven't done what you're supposed to do. You need to work to work while you still live. And then when you finish working, you need to know that everything going to be all right. See, where you're trying to get to is, I want to be in the heavenly places. But when you get there, how you going to be? I said sometimes we got folks that get into the kingdom of heaven. When they get there, they like a wall fly. All they do is stand up against the wall. You know how it was we back in the day. All right. It those that came to the club to party. And there were those that came and didn't know how to party. Well, if you want to get your party on, you need to do the work of the master. So when you get there, you'll have that crown. You can throw it at the master's feet. You can get your dance on. You can get your praise on. And, you know, we don't have to worry until we 
dead to walk down that street that's paved with gold. If you're sick, you reach over and grab that leaf that is good for the healing of a whole nation. And then when you get everything straight back the way you're supposed to have it, you get your praise on. You say, Jesus, I know you've been with me. I may not have always been right, but Lord, you know I've been faithful. I want you to keep on keeping on with me. I want you to walk with me. I want you to talk with me. I want you to show me how it is that I'm supposed to act. Sometimes I may not know how to act, but I'm going to act anyway. And if I'm not right, Lord, I know you're going to take and chastise me. But I'm ready to be chastised. I'm ready to be clean. I'm ready to be washed from the top of my head down to the sole of my feet. And I know I can praise you because you said that you anointed with the Spirit of God from on high. I'm going to feed that inner man each and every day. No matter how things might be going in my life, I know that you can make it better. See, you all need to know that God is able. Not only is he able, he's ready. And he's waiting on you. So I, I'm going to let you know, he says that sometimes you got to go back out there and, and do the work. The work of the flesh is not what you should be doing. So what is the work of the flesh? Well, the Bible tells us immorality, impurity, sexuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, outburst of anger, disputes, and essential. See, you need to know that you need to put that stuff aside and then just go on out there and let the world know that I am going to do the work of the master. And then when I do it, I'm going to know that the day of judgment, I'm going to have victory over all that I have. The work of the master is all that I need to do. And when I finish working, I know that he says that I need to have love for my fellow man. I need to use my talents for God, all that God has given me for the uplifting of the kingdom of God. I, I need to be spiritually fed. And sometimes you got to feed yourself with the word of God striving to be more like Jesus and if you ever learn how to be like Jesus that means that you will get the fruit of the spirit you will display the fruit of the spirit that is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness and faith then he goes on to say a little bit of meekness, temperance, and against such there is no law. You can praise God anywhere you want to, and you can show the Spirit of God all over yourself. If I was told this morning, you must have had a big smile on your face, but you always have a smile. The reason I can have a smile on my face, I don't worry about anybody else. I got joy. I got unspeakable joy. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. I got joy, I got peace, I got happiness, I got love, but then there's a little bit of long suffering going on. Sometimes my pain gets me. Sometimes I'm burdened down. But you need to know no matter what your burden is, turn it over to the master. I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to have to leave you alone. Because see, I'm thinking to get excited. I know my God. I know who he is. And I know that he died for me. I know that he washed me from the top of my head. I know he took away the sins of the world. But I want you to know that you need to work the work that he's given to you. And you got to do it while the blood is still running warm in your veins. Amen. It's been a long journey. Jesus was right there by my side. Oh, it's been a long journey. Jesus was right there by my side. Oh, it's been a long journey. Jesus was right there by my side. Oh, he's been right there, he's been right there, he's been right there by my side. Oh, it's been a long journey, Jesus was right there. Oh, it's been a long, long journey, Jesus was right there. Oh, it's been a long journey. Jesus was right there. Oh, he's been right, right there, right there. Come on, 
on, put your hand together. Let's have a little church. It's been a long, long uphill journey. Jesus will ride there. Oh, it's been a long, long journey. Jesus will ride there by my side. Oh, it's been a long journey. Jesus will ride there. Oh, he's been right, right there, right there, right there by my One more time, let me sing it, it's been a long, long uphill journey Jesus will ride there Oh, it's been a long uphill journey Jesus will ride there Oh, 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 it's been a long journey. Jesus will ride there. Oh, he's been, he's been, God's been right there. God's been right through the storm, through the rain. He's been right there. God's been right there through your eyes. And through your town, he'll never leave you. Always be by your side. He'll never leave you. Always to be right there. Always to be right there. He'll never leave you. He'll never give up on you. God's been right there. Oh, God's been right there. Hey, oh, right there. Right there, right there by my. Oh, it's been a long, long, long journey. Jesus will ride there. Oh, it's been a long. Jesus will ride there. Oh, it's been a long, long journey. Jesus will ride there. Oh, clap your hand. He's been. Been right there, God been right there, God been right there. He never leave ya. You. you he won't forsake ya. You. you can call on Jesus in the middle of the night. You can call on Jesus. He'll be right there. Don't give up on God. He won't give up on you. He'll be right there. You gotta hang on. You gotta be strong. God will never leave you. God will be right there. Anybody know he'll be right there? Anybody know he'll be right there? He'll be right there. Let me see you wave your hand. If you know he'll be there. Let me see you wave your hand. If you know he'll be right there. Oh, he'll be. God will be right there. God will be right there. God will be right there. Don't give up on God. Hang on. Be strong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God will be right there. Put your hand together. Say, He'll be right there. God will be right there. When you're down and out, hey, you're down and out. God will pick you up. He'll turn you around. He'll pick you up. Hey. He'll turn you around. Anybody know he'll be right there? Anybody know he'll be right there? Come on, put your hand together. Say, right there. God will be. God will be. He'll never leave you. He won't forsake you. He'll be right there. He'll be right there. Oh, right there. Right there. Right there, right there by my Come on, clap your hand and say Right there by my side Right there by my side Right there Right there He'll be right there He'll be right there He'll be right there He'll be right there To hold you In the cradle of his arm Oh, he'll be right there He'll be right there. Put your hand together, say. He'll be right there. By my side. By my side. God will step 
stepping right on time. God will step in right on time. He'll never leave you. He'll never leave you. Jesus will be right there by my side. Been right there. He'll stay right there to pick you up when you're falling down. He'll pick you up when you're falling down. It's been a long, long, long journey. Jesus was right there. Oh, it's been a long. Jesus was right there. Oh, it's been a long journey. Jesus was right. Oh, he's been right there. He's been God's been. Hang on. Be strong. He'll be right there. He'll be right there. He'll be right there. Right there, right there by my side. Come on and praise him that you know he'll be right there. Come on and open up your mouth that you know he'll be right there. He'll never leave you. He won't forsake you. You got to hang on. You got to be strong. You got to endure until the very end. Lift your hands. Open up your mouth. And tell the Lord, I'll be right there. While I'm by my body, seem weak sometimes. Lord, I'll stay right there. When it looks like I can't go left or right, Lord, I'll be right there. Because I know you never leave me. Hey, 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 hey. Anybody know that the Lord will never leave you? He will never forsake you. Hang on. Be strong. Hang on. Be strong. Don't give up on God. Look at a neighbor tell your neighbor say, don't give up on God. Y'all ain't talking to your neighbor on this morning. Look at your neighbor say, don't you give up on God. We a little too relaxed in this place on this morning. Can we all stand to our feet? Can we all stand to our feet? I'm not talking just to talk, but if you believe what God can do for you, you'll repeat it after me. Lift your hands and say, God, I'll be right there. When my body feel weak, Lord, I'll be right there. When I feel like giving up, Lord, I'll be right there. Point at the neighbor and say, don't give up on God. Tell your neighbor, don't give up on God. He will be right there. God will be right there. God will be right there. God, God will be right there. Come on, lift your hands and praise him this morning. Lift your voice and worship him this morning. If the Lord's been good to you, you ought to lift your hands and tell the Lord, Lord, I love you. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I love you. When I feel down and out to my last time, I can lift my hands and say, Lord, I love you. Lord, Lord, I love you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I adore you. Lord, I lift my hands when I feel like giving up, when I feel like throwing in the towel. I can lift my hands and praise you and say, Lord, whatever you're doing in the season, somebody said, please don't do it without me. 
Come on, lift your hands and say, don't do it without me. Because I won't give up on God. Because he won't give up on me. Come on, lift your hands and worship him. Hallelujah. Don't give up on God. Come on, say something to him. Open up your mouth and bless him. It's still quiet. Open up your mouth and bless him. Because he won't give up on me. Lord, I love you because you, you won't give up on me. And I won't, I won't give up on you. Don't give up on God. Cause you won't give up on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all facing things right now. Things that somebody else already knows. And some things we have hidden inside of our hearts. Because we know that God's going to be there right by our side. But tell your neighbor, don't give up on God. Because he won't, he won't, he won't give up on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't give up on God. It's all right to lift your hands. It's all right to close your eyes. It's all right to tell him how much you care for him. Because he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God. He will always see you through. Hallelujah. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh. oh. Somebody ought to lift your hands and declare in this atmosphere, God is able, God is able, God is able, yeah, 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 God is able, hallelujah, I'm crying, Him. Hey, 
Lift your voice and praise him in this place. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah, we got some worshipers in here. Lift your voice and say, yeah. Yeah, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody's on the verge of a breakthrough. Somebody's on the verge of losing their mind. But while we're in his missing in his presence, we're going to let those weight drop off on this morning. Tell your neighbor, say, I don't want the Lord to pass me by. Woo! Yay! Glory to God, if y'all can feel what I feel on the inside of me, God ain't going to leave nobody out this morning. Lift your hands and say, Father, do not pass me by. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm going to lift your voice and praise him. Come on, we aren't going to miss out on this moment. Lift your hands and praise him. Hey, 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 your power to not pass, to pass me by. Lord, I'm still grieving over loved ones that I've lost. Lord, we need you to come here and do not, do not pass, to pass me by. Lord, I'm praying for my family. Lord, I don't want you to pass us by. Do not pass, pass me by. One more time, let's lift it up all together. Oh, say do, do not pass me by. Extending the invitation right now, and there may be somebody here that do not know the Lord and the pardon of their sin. They want to confess Jesus as Lord and Savior. Confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised his son from the dead, and you shall be saved. If there's no one in that condition, there might be somebody here that is unchurched, looking for a church home where they can exercise their gifts and their talents for the uplifting of the kingdom of God. This is a great place to come where you can use your talent to help grow the church, help build up the body of Christ. Will there be one? If not, the invitation has been given. It's prayer time. Father, Father, once again, we call on your holy name. We ask, Lord, that you look in on all those that are sick and shut in. Lord, we know that there are many that are sick among us. We may not know all of them, but those that we do know, we, we, we want to let you know that we're thinking of them. We got Carolyn Johnson in the hospital. Lord, and, and we ask now that you just touch her with a finger of love. Give her strength. Continue to 
give her strength that she may come back into the household of faith. But Lord, whatever your will, we know that you are able to do exceedingly abundant above all that we can ask. We know that you are healing in the sick room. So Lord, we just thank you. We have others that are sick that don't let you know that they are sick. But Lord, right now, you know their conditions. So we want you to look in on them. Give them peace in the midst of their storm. Give them joy where there was sadness. Strengthen them and their family that they can continue to move on. So Lord, we, we just want to let you know that we know who you are. We know that you're able. We may not praise you like we do, but Lord, we do know you. And we're asking for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We ask now you that you allow it to fall afresh upon each and every one that is under the sound of my voice. But Lord, we, we, we went to see Sister Taylor on yesterday. She had a procedure. She never said a word to anyone. But you were able. You carried her through. And we pray, Lord, that everything's going to be all right. So, Lord, we, we lift them up. Now, Lord, for those that are sitting here under the sound of my voice, I ask now, Lord, that you look in on them. If you find anything there that should not be, we ask that you remove it right now. If there's any evil there, take it out. Lord, if there's any unhappiness, replace it with joy. If there's any fear, give them power. Because all power comes from you. So, Lord, we just thank you. We ask now, Lord, as we get ready to depart from this place, that you would never let us leave your presence. And that on this place, Lord, that you would allow the Shekinah glory, that bright light that carries with you, that it will shine around about this place. And not only with these, these in this place, but around your people, that when someone look at them, they will no longer see them, but the you that is inside of them. So, Lord, we thank you for being you. We thank you for being here with us. We thank you for making this an uplifted service and that we praise you with all that we have. And, Lord, we ask that you would give us the strength to carry on and that when we meet somebody, that you would just let, them, let us tell them that the wages of sin is still death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And as we wait for eternal life, oh, Lord, we just want to praise you and give you all the honor. That we count it right now as being done. In Jesus' name, amen. And you may stay here for the rest of the day, but the benediction has been given. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yeah. 